Hey guys, what's up? Abbeforth here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your material ID maps or color ID maps using Photoshop, right? So, people generally use Maya 3ds Max or Xnormal to pick out their color ID maps, but I have picked out three instances where Photoshop is useful for creating material ID maps, right? So the first instance is where you have created something like a regular normal map just for creating a material with no geometry where you want to create something like a tileable material that would be useful in game engine or whatever right so for creating normal maps from something like this you just start out with either your normal maps or AO maps and you just start selecting areas right so I have supposed this area selected and okay let me deselect this I'm gonna switch the tools okay suppose I have this area selected and I want it to be suppose a glass material right so I'm gonna select my brush and then I'm gonna just paint over this part we can hide this create a new layer and select another part okay there wrong layer select right so something like this and right then go back to layer brush select another color and then just color it up right so I can do something like this and then finally I'll end up with an ID map something like this right so in this way you can use Photoshop to create your color ID maps for your tileable materials or any material that you're going to be using in general, right? Another use of Photoshop for creating your ID map is when you have your UVs that are particularly separated out. For example, I have this set of UVs right here from one of my sci-fi panel modular models right so I'm gonna just invert this guy right here and I'm gonna just adjust the levels a bit so that we can see the black part clearly right okay so when you have separate shells that you want to assign separate colors to you can do it inside of Maya or 3ds Max or you can do it in Photoshop directly for example this set of this shell this UV shell I want to assign red color or this shell I want to assign green color you can use you can directly paint that in Photoshop right here but if you have UVs attached for example if I want this face to have green and this face to have red color it will be a bit difficult to do it in here and tedious so it will be easier than to bake it inside of Maya, right? If you want to learn how to bake UVs inside of Maya, then do check out another one of my tutorials, right? Now, this was the second use. The third use can be something when you want to edit your maps. Now, this is the ID map that I ended up with when in my tutorial where I show you how to bake your ID maps using Maya right you can see there are some problems on the edges here right here this part was supposed to be blue but it ended up yellow so I can just edit that inside of Photoshop and get a perfect bake right so these are the three basic uses for generating color ID maps inside of Photoshop else you can use Photoshop Excuse me, else you can use Xnormals or Maya and 3ds Max for baking your maps, right? So, when creating a tileable material, 
painting material ID for geometries from scratch or just editing your normal map. These are the three uses for editing maps inside Photoshop. So hope that helped a bit and thanks for watching.